Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones. Where, as you could probably tell from this sigil, we have made our decision about the Lord of the Light. And our decision is that we shall step into the light to face the long night. I also asked you guys about naming his sword. To which you guys help. Uh, some of you have me pointed out it is not actually a Valyrian steel sword, but it is a Western Westerosi Valyrian sword, and uh, this is technically a base game thing. Um, but the name that you guys had that I really liked was probably the most simple one. We are a Baratheon, and even if we may take a new name, ours is still the Fury. So we are going to go with Fury as the name of this uh, Valyrian steel blade. Uh, of course, we are still at war as well. We are we are in this. <coughs> we are no longer at war. That was very quick. Let's expand this army. And I have, uh, I believe, I already mentioned my plans for the claw. Uh, and that is, that I'm going to be giving the claw to Stefan. Grant him this title. There we go. Uh, I want basically to slowly conquer most of the claw here, so we're gonna get claims on point side. I don't want to convert religiously yet. I'm gonna wait a little while, uh, just because realistically, even under Stannis, the uh, religion didn't change much in um, Dragonstone. As for uh, what my full plans are, is I want to conquer all of the Cape own all of the cape but i also want to take this province in high tide here so that i can grant crab's return to my heir to edwin so that edwin can get some proper learning skills however i believe revoking this title is going to be a big fat no it will be an act of tyranny and it might not just be here we also might have um sharp point rise up so, for now, I'm going to see if we can possibly um, find secrets in her court to possibly get a hook on her. Because that could do us a lot, of, uh, a lot of good and a hook there. In the meanwhile, uh... I believe we saw at the end of last session, uh, the last episode, that Cersei had passed away. If we didn't, then Cersei has passed away. Uh, Robert, still with no, um, uh, still is not remarried, but his heir is still Joffrey, who is Lord of Casterly Rock, um, also married to Renly. Uh, interesting. But yeah, he's Lord of Casterly Rock, and his, uh, like, Cousin Tybalt is now the Lannister in charge of the Westerlands. But he, he has a claim on uh, the Westerlands itself. And of, obviously he's next in line for the Iron Throne. So he will be very powerful if he gets the throne. But he also... Um, let's keep going for a little bit. He also has a problem of his own, which is just that he's a bit... um. How do I say it politely? Um... <laughs> He's... Oh dear. What just happened? My son Stefan downed while, drowned while playing with Yorin. Stefan died? Oh, that is, was not good. Well, that means Edwin has inherited the, the claw instead, so... Oh, that's a bit sad. Yeah, not great. Playing with his friend and he just drowned. Well. Autonomous vassals. So he's lowered crown authority again. Interesting. What's, and ours is at three right now. Shireen Baratheon's return from court. I still think I want to take high tide because I think I'd rather have both of these two than have Crab's return up here. I also have a little bit of interest in getting rid of uh, Lord Ellis here, of the scales. Uh, I'm going to modify his contract just for future uh, use. 
and then get rid of title replication. J just in case there's an opportunity to to uh, take a claim off him as well. Well, the Osman of Diadon has approached me, wishing to meet and discuss our experiences as hunters. What was the hardest kill, I wonder? No, I'm not interested in that rabbit to catch her. I'm a real Chad King. Hmm. Don't want to buy a gift for Alisane. She gets bejeweled, which increases her fertility, stress gain, and life expectancy. Sure. Let's buy a gift for my wife. My wife? How's the rest of the Iron Throne doing? Oh. Provides me with a hook on a subject. Yes. On Lord Lucirus of Griffin Hook. Okay, that might actually be the most useless one you could have got me a hook on. No offense. Can I even revoke right away? I can do. I don't even need a hook to revoke from him though, because he's a, a sub lord, like a barony or whatever the the official name for it is. Anyone else would have been more useful life. Uh, no, I cannot. I need to save up a bit more money. Damn it. Okay, so he's just not going to find anything in that court. She's not committed any any egregious crimes yet. Unfortunate. Would have been really useful if you just like committed one or two crimes, maybe. You know, I wouldn't have told anyone. I would have just used it to kick you out of your own castle. Totally reasonable response. Uh, so this is a, another thing, by the way, is one of the options you can pick, and obviously it makes a lot of sense uh, from how you read the books uh, that Melisandre is now a lover of Stannis as well, although Lady uh, Alessane does not know about this relationship. And let's, uh, let's keep it that way. Let's keep her in the dark about this. Let's see. What religion is he? He's Faith of the Seven. Kick him out of my court. More inspirations. He wants to go to the Reach. That's not much of an adventure, mate. I want to travel to the far-off lands of the Reach. No man has ever returned from there alive. An alliance with my son. Yes. My court grange is decreased. No, 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 no. We're not having that. Uh, that's... We can probably afford a little uh, increase in court grandeur regardless. Right? Yeah, we can at least have everything on free, I think. Let's, let's see. How much would everything on four cost us? I'm fine with that. Let's get everything increased a little bit. Because even then, we're still earning 6.5 a month. We're, we're earning a pretty healthy amount from our current properties. Oh, he would accept it being revoked from him. And let's revoke that. Just so. And she would not still. Okay. Uh, let's... I think even though he's someone in charge of Hayeswood, I'm not going to have another son, am I? And you can't... No, you can grant titles to your daughters. What if I grant these to Shireen and get her matrilineally married? Oh, no, because it's Faith of the Law. Okay. So I cannot. So do I want to grant him the High Lordship of uh, Crab Isle? Yes, I think I do. And then eventually, you know, when, when I inherit him, I may change the claw again. Either way, this is very good for him. And now we just need to get this title. Honestly, I think going to war for this title is not the worst idea. I'm fine doing it. 
Because it'll be a, it'll be defensive war regardless, I believe. Uh, we'll keep him in prison just so he can't join this war. Then accept that. And now we go. This is an easy war. I can win by myself. Look at that. She was marching towards me and then the army rose up. And she's like, actually, you know what? No. <laughs> But let's see he's high tide. I mean, she hates me anyway. I need to get rid of her eventually. Need to cement my power. That's one thing I want to do, at least in this uh, generation with Stannis, is just cement our power. Make, make herself sort of undoubted in Dragonstone. Make Dragonstone just a super strong uh, threshold. And then Lord Edwin is, is already growing. He's growing up to be quite a, an okay ruler. He's nothing, like, too impressive. But, you know, for the martial education he's he's receiving, he's okay. But, I don't know. Can I switch him off? I would have switched to stewardship, but he's just not great with stewardship. Intrigue does make sense, though. Because he's very good intrigue-wise. Oh, empty council positions. Um, yeah, let's keep placating members of our council. Uh, very less, very less. Do we not have any siege? We do not. This is a good time to remember to get trebuchets in our um, army. Oh, we need to station them. Our army is already very expensive, though. It costs 9.1 uh, to keep our army and court amenities up. Well, no, I absolutely can't afford it right now. <laughs> Right, go, trebuchets, go join the actual army, please. And... Did any of these make it cheaper to have the army? I can't remember which one is, like, army cost. No, that's Merkai. It's this one here, prepared conscription. It takes, what, four to get there, though, and it would also take four to get strategists. No, let's do this. Natural Dread makes sense for Stannis, anyway. Let's split the army. Have some of them chase after these ones. Go we'll capture Lady Alia. Nope. Okay. Thought that would have been easy enough to capture her, but whatever. Come on, siege this as quick as you can, lads. Yeah, let's get ourselves a bit more money through some ransoms. Lord Donald. <laughs> the High Lordship of Deerfield. Nah. Still more inspirations. There's always always somebody inspired in our court. It's just being around Stannis inspires you, I think. You kind of go, wow, this guy, he's really something, you know. This Stannis fella. An alliance with Joffrey. I mean, I'll have an alliance with him for now. But, you know, if it's revealed certain things about him are true, then... I'm not sure that alliance will last, so to speak. I mean, there's already obviously the suspicions, because we know his um, later children, at least I believe Tommen and Simon, are like confirmed by the game, and like people know that the lineage here is slightly askew. Uh, oh no, it's sorry, it's his children, Lyneera, is known to be a bastard. So yeah, it's the one, only the ones specifically you own are only on Cersei's side. So Lyneera is a bastard. Oh, we'll look at that in a sec. But uh, even then, like Robert has children, which would still be a bit, a bit sus. You'd still be a bit look at these children and go, mm. "Are they? No, they're blonde." So Viserys has invaded at the Trident. King Viserys. This is the um... yeah. Daenerys is in his court as well. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Let's obviously join on Robert's side here. He is our brother. And my wife is uh, pregnant with my child. What are we looking at with numbers here? The Reach and Dawn are siding with him. Giving him a numerical advantage. That is not good. And I'm now the Marshal of the Iron Firm. Well, let's siege down this castle anyway, because I can't do anything until my personal war's finished here. Good early wins. Just try and get rid of all these small armies if you can, Robert. But that's already a huge army that's meeting up here. That's 16k is meeting up in that one area. And that includes none of the Reachmen. Very worrying start. Because we need Robert to win here. <laughs> if Robert loses this war, we're in a pretty fucked situation. But look at that. 25 lords have sided with Viserys. Is Robert that bad? Now, we'll, we'll, we'll save going for claims for later, guys. We're, we're a bit busy now. <laughs> Come on, win this siege. Now, they're going to be able to win their siege, aren't they? Yeah, because it's such an easy level four. Ah, I wanted to go over and stop this siege from finishing. But unless I can get the timing perfect, we'll be a bit screwed there. Enforce those demands. And then revoke your title. Right, go, go, go. Okay, it looked, oh, okay, that was part of my war. Not part of the actual war. Good. Uh, let's land up here then. Okay, another early win by Robert by uh, Robert's army. That was against the... Uh, wow, that was actually against Daenerys' army as well. Okay, good. Really need um, the Stormlands are on our side, right? Yeah, the Riverlands are not though. That's really not helpful. The Riverlands would have been very useful. That's thirteen k men. I have a new son. We'll name him Roderick. Ah, this is the Fury, lads. We're literally using the Blade Fury and we're just dominating these uh, uh, members of the Claw. Where's Robert's main army at? Is it really just this 35k? I would be hoping you had like a, a 40k stack somewhere around here, Robert, because we do need it. <laughs> I'll tell you that now. Okay, we're up to 29%. Not a bad start for us. A martial perk is available. A man's home. Get ourselves some territory advantage. Man's home is his castle. We're going to keep all prisoners. Uh, and then we're going to... I know I was doing it in Hazel, but I do need it in high tide. Got to get my control up there. There we go. We're earning a decent bit of money while we have our army raised now, which is what we need. So once again, we're in we're in a pretty decent uh, position now. Okay, it looks like the Stormlander armies are sticking close with the Vale armies, which is very very helpful. Oh, and the North is now uniting as well. Yeah, so num if if they go into a straight battle right now, they probably win unless Daenerys has like incredible troops. Daenerys. Daenerys. But he has five troops. And from what I remember, they do not replenish. He's meant to have um, 10k incredibly powerful troops. But the poor thing is that they don't replenish. So he is already at a major disadvantage in this war. Because his one specialist uh, troop is gone. So if he doesn't have the numbers, he loses every battle now. This is huge for us. This is exactly what we need. We need to take care of this pretender. Especially considering that this started a really even war. So if we can keep winning these, we can keep Robert on the throne. As he should be. Oh, and we're seizing artifacts for the fun of it. Why not? 
An ancient plaque that gives me prestige. Oh, go on then. Why not? Let's have a bit of fun with it. <laughs> uh, I want to take down these ones near Duskendale. Okay, there is, they do still have a decent army size if we're looking at this Dawn army here. In fact, that Dawn army seems to be the majority of their incredibly strong army. Oh, bloody hell. So, okay, I can't get involved in that fight. I need to weave around a bit to meet up with this robber army. Right, what are we doing, Robert? Okay, they're going to try and kill me here, Robert, so I'd love if you could help. Oh, I just evaded them. What are we looking at? Do they have more men here? No, we have 89k here, so we, we do still have more men in uh, this region. I think we're trying to chase down this army that's running off to Maidenpool by the looks of it. Not a, not a bad idea, actually. Just hit all the stragglers you can. No? Okay. I guess they lit the, lit in the stragglers get away. No, here they are. Look. Get them in Maidenpool. Trust me, my brother. You can get them. Getting ahead. Both Robert and uh, Eddard are, are, are held esteem by our liege. No, both me and Ed the Held in the Scene by Lord. But when it comes to handing out titles, one of us will always be first among. The upcoming gathering at the Red Keep gives me a chance to ensure I'm the one in favour. So this is the only one where he even slightly likes me. No, he likes Edward more. I mean, uh, it's hard to compete with Edward. He's a really cool dude, and I'm a slightly cool dude. Oh, this is where his five his remaining five troops are. Not for long. My and I, my fame is widely known for that incredible battle. Oh, I think we caught the Dornish army here. No, they just got away. Got to stop letting these Dornish armies getting get away from us. Come on, you can catch the armies. Okay, looks like they finally caught them. There we go. Okay, this is this should be a dominant win for Robert again. Oh, the Rand's armies do not stand a chance. They are being pelted by Robert's armies. 81%. This has been a huge... Oh, because he's captured the Rand. This is an incredible... Um, like, this, this is the proof if proof was needed that you needed Robert to die to be successful in these invasions. Because when it comes to battle to war, Robert is Robert. Like... What more could be said? Oh, and we're fighting the Reach armies? Us leading that battle again? Incredible commander. Like, when we when we were in battle, we win battles. It's it's that simple. <laughs> the Dorm armies are quite weak. Only 3k men left. I want to see if I can catch some of these stragglers. I have a new friend. Um, we can either join my court and I lose prestige, or I'll have a rival for a bit of prestige. Come on. Who doesn't love a good rival? Okay, I'm, I'm overextending myself a little bit. I shouldn't be that far. Ah! Robert, you legend! The beggar king is defeated. Oh, and I'll graciously accept the peasant's gifts as well. Incredible, Robert. Incredible. Facing against the Reach and Dawn. And he still pulls out the, the W. I don't think the Lannisters were even involved from what I saw there. They might have been. Um, but okay, they like Robert a bit, so they probably were involved. I just didn't see their armies, so I wasn't sure. Incredible work. Very proud of you, Robert. I've seen AIs lose that war very easily. Although I'm sure Russ being there helped a little bit. But, you know, we were only 6,000 men. It was, it was Robert with uh, 34k. That was really the... The leader of that one. Oh, and he's removed me as the master of arms. Well, unbelievable. I am a lord paramount. You will respect me. And let's go some hill forts. So this actually comes with the Driftwood Throne, which gives incredible amounts of prestige and renown. So just a really good uh, one to have. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll push this claim at long last. And we'll fight for it. So let us 
do, do, do. New rally point, so we don't have to cross the rivers. Well, we're up to 8k men now when we're at our max. Very impressive. Well, let's capture point side. A successor, the Stone Guardian. Yes, yeah, so and my new uh, acolyte. Enduring hardships. Okay, enemy enemy occupations do not lower control. This perfect because I'd like to have a lot of control. Edwin has come of age. Wonderful, my boy. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, let's get some control in these lands. And Edwin, let us... Let's see, because you are not currently married, are you? Let's find you a spouse. Serena Lannister. One of the... Yeah, so she's known as a sand. Is that because she's a bastard? No, she's, she's not a bastard, but... Oh, no, she's a bastard. Okay, there we go. So she is a bastard of, um... I was going to say, because she's Oberyn's kid, isn't she? We have Alyssa Cargyle, who is the sister of the Lord of Cargyle. And Cargyle is not a very important house, but it is a Crownlander house. I know, Serena Lannister just seems to make the most sense, I suppose. Even if, like, their actual relationship to House Lannister seems minuscule. Yeah, they're like a, a cousin of, Lan of the Lannisters. And it doesn't get us in alliance with the actual Lannisters. But, I don't know, it just seems like there's not better options out there for him. Let's have a look and see. Sansa's probably married. Yep. Arya is not. Can we arrange the marriage between them? No, he... Even if it was matrimonial, he just, he just hates us. Wow. I did. I didn't realize uh, he hated me that much. Uh, Lady Marjorie is already married. This would be incest, so even then. Um, I guarantee she hates us as well. Yeah. It's very weird. They, they don't seem to be treating us like a Lord Paramount in terms of, like, equivalent marriages and relationships here. Very weird. Well, he's not even married. Edmund, you've got to get yourself married, my man. Even Andras here, I think, would still be a no, right? Oh, because Andres is a male. <laughs> I saw the long hair and immediately. Didn't even think about a name. And there's no princess that isn't a bastard. Well, that leaves us limited on options for our boys. So I guess we won't look at the best political marriage and we'll look at the best, like, um... Uh, I mean, it's, I think it might be the Sands, honestly. I don't I don't hate this, this marriage. I think we're going to go for it. Doesn't get us any powerful allies, but I think by this point, even uh, everyone would know or at least have heard of somewhat the um, the uh, sort of renown of the uh, the trained daughters of Oberyn Martell, his vipers. ransom these off. I'll never say no to money. Hello. I like money. And with this claim, do I want to start... How long would it take to convert the faith in Dragonstone? Ten, ten years isn't terrible for literally converting the faith. And I do love that our Archbishop is now a warrior. <laughs> I just love that. 24 prowess is really, really good as well. Could I invite any more um, knights? Not yet. Still unavailable for a little while. I love this one. I love this epic Reigns of Castamere song. Okay, so two two provinces into the claw. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six more to go. So we are a fourth of the way. Easy. Or like a fifth. I, I, quick maths is not my strong suit. And then we, we will grant this title 
Destroy artifact. No. <laughs> oh, I, that was to grant a vassal. Uh, we'll grant you this title, and then you can give it to a vassal, which I imagine you'll do quite quickly. Because it's good, because it means when we inherit these lands, when we become Edwin, we can deal with the the, the situation there ourselves. Okay, Silver does not have a guardian. I will be your guardian. Uh, this is without the new wards and wardens, so I'm not sure uh, how much ward and warden changes education and all of that, but I do not have the those specifics. Let's check. Yeah, captains are a huge problem for us. Like, they are probably our biggest problem is only having nine of them. But I just can't invite them yet. Yeah, I can't invite any. Can I recruit any? Okay, I can recruit one or two. As long as they're not a ridiculous price. 70. Um, I don't know. Seventy, sixty, seventy, fifty-five. We'll go for the fifty-five, the sixty. Just need to get these captains back up. I forgot I can also have concubines because of this. Um... Let's see, Lord Edwin says, "Thank you, Stephen Leach. I come to you with an urgent request. I've run into some financial difficulties." How much financial difficulties are we talking here? You have 93 gold, my son. You are richer than me right now. Accept my counter offer. Okay, he accepted. Right, too few. Mm. I don't want a Wester Westerossi Valyrian child. Even though that's two of my options. I don't, I don't, even though I have the options for concubines, I don't think Stannis would do it. He might sleep with uh, Melisandre, but he won't sleep with <laughs> anyone else. That one still probably feels illicit for him. Let's raise it to nobility. Uh, do we need to? I don't know if we need to raise it to nobility, but can I put her in a council position? Anywhere she'd be good. Can't make her my arch council there. She would be a good spy master, and I think I, even though this guy is like landed, if I can put her here, yeah, I want her on my council. I need her guidance. No Davos though. I don't have um. Uh, which is Davos's one? Oh, it is I think it's technically this title, but he doesn't have it in this one. A stag hunt is always fun. Oh yeah, they, he's lost his title, but this this did used to be, um, I believe Davos's title. I would love to have Davos. And uh, Davos uh, being with Stannis is, uh, even though he's all the way down here, is because of uh, what he did for Storm's End. So how he earned himself, you know. This title about onions is uh, providing Storm's End with food during the um, Siege of Storm's End. Which, the Siege of Storm's End in and of itself was kind of a, a power, I guess, power play quote-unquote by um, uh, Mace. Where Mace Terrell um, sieged down Storm's End so that he could basically claim both um, to help uh, Aerys Targaryen and to help Robert. By saying to Robert, you know, I wasn't doing anything important to the war. I was sieging Storm's End, which, you know, wouldn't have ended the war at all. It literally didn't matter. Whereas in Eris' eyes, he could have gone, oh, well, I was spending all my time sieging down, um... Yeah, let's go for Hunt. Sieging down, um... Is that some... Uh... Where did it say that the thing was found? Yeah, Lynx has been seen here, so we'll do it here. I need a new caravan master. Uh, you'll do. But I mean, it, 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 people say it's an Elena strategy, and I don't know, most likely it is a, an Elena 
strategy because Elena is Elena and she's very smart. But I think the people misinterpret um, very well. They misinterpret uh, Mace a little bit because I only watch show Mace. Mace is smarter than the show gives him credit for. He's not a complete idiot. Like, a lot of the um, work he's undertaken in basically conquering... Well, not conquering, I guess. You know, seizing uh, power in King's Landing through the council uh, is is his work, not Elena's. Although, Ale he probably would have been wiser listening to Elena because he's now got uh, a bit of a problem in the, the reach of a war that could be firing. But who knows, Randall Tarly could stay loyal. It's, it's interesting to see what Randall may do because Randall's been given a position on the council... Yeah. Like Randall Randall's been rewarded by Mace, so you never know. Like Twenty days until our hunt begins. By all means. I will display this painting. We're gonna go hunt down a lynx. The noise of the others has faded and my brother, King Robert, and I walk up to the lynx. We are almost within striking distance when Robert whispers, Now we're finally alone. I have something to tell you about Lord Paramount Duran. Talk later, brother. <coughs> I know Lord Paramount Duran's a fucking dick. He fought against us in a war. Poachers here in the Lord's Wood. They huddle together as I ride up my guards. Hmm. So I can hire them. No, we're punishing poachers. We don't allow poachers in my kingdom. Do I want to pick the perilous round? Alfred, we ride! My brother-in-law, Lord Titus, looks like he's really confused there. So I can either shoot it... Try and bring it down myself, which has a 13% of killing me. If this one has a... Kills a random person. Trying to capture it alive has a good chance of killing a random participant. Let us try and shoot it. Ah! My bowman... My bow strategy works. I mean, I was a really good bowman back in the King's Tourney, so it makes sense. I could give it to Renny or I could keep it. I will keep it. Excellent work. We have conquered ourselves. Uh, oh, no, sorry. It's for our court, isn't it? We shall put it beside a Baratheon that I will put up this hide. Is the hide invisible? Yes. But it's a really good hide. <laughs> yeah, that just happens sometimes. We just have invisible, like, hunting trophies. <laughs> Thank Grelor, I can go inside again. Still have that claim on Deerfield, apparently. Okay, people are, people are enjoying converting, apparently. They're enthusiastic to convert to Relor. That's incredible news. What more could I want? You can get well-proficient armies or make them used to foraging. They could forage. There's nothing wrong with foraging. I'm not doing a grand tournament. Stop it. And I don't think I have anything to petition from Robert other than maybe a council position, which he'd probably refuse. Even though I'm an incredible marshal. I'm just not... I, I'm, I, I just love looking at his diplomacy every time. It's so funny. He's like, what a fighter. Literally can't talk to anyone. <laughs> he is not a fun talk. Who are you at war with? The Laughing Hills are at war, apparently. Let's see, can we buy anything in Dragonstone? Probably not with 60. We need a bit more than 60. Well, the Dragonstone, just in general, is just so good. That's what's pr providing us with a lot of our money. So Robert has chosen a new wife, and he's chosen Rosalind Frey. Interesting choice. That is, uh, like, Walder's third or fourth daughter, I think. Uh, Walder himself, though, has died. As has his son, Severon. Wait, who's the Lord of the Crossing now? It is Edwin Frey. 
who is a grandson of Stevron of the Crossing. So he's like a great grandson of uh, Walder Frey already. Lines about legacy. Legacy! What is a legacy? You're doing a hunt, are you, Robert? Where are you hunting? Robert, why? Why is this your... Why does Robert own Sun Shield? Oh, God. Robert. Robert, I love you, buddy. I'm not going to join you on this one, I think. It's a little bit too far, my lad. That would be such a Robert thing. Is just claim lands in all over the kingdom so he has somewhere to bloody hunt. <laughs> just conquering full kingdom so that he has somewhere he can hunt. He can get rid of this rally point now. Then we'll probably need it again if we go to war up here again. But that's not going to happen for 10 years because we're busy converting our faith in our, our county. We're only uh, 40 years old. I think we will uh, call it there for this episode, everybody. I really hope you have uh, enjoyed. I'm having a lot of fun in this Stannis series. And uh, it's looking like we could go for quite a while with Stannis here. Uh, especially... Uh, with sort of the interesting situations we now find ourselves in. Edwin growing into a pretty bright young lad here. Incredible prowess for his age. 29 prowess. He could be a better fighter than me, actually. Because I think my prowess without my... Um, my sword and... Uh, my, my sword here is... Yeah, it would be lower. Now I just need to get an armor. If we can get an armor... And then pass that down to him as well. We can have an incredible dynasty of fighters. Which is exactly what the favor of law and what Stannis himself will be thinking. But with our, our very smart son and a grandson already along the way. Although he is a child of a concubine. But, you know, our religion allows that now. We are we are in a very interesting situation. Where Dragonstone is already actually growing to be... Sure, we're not as powerful as a full Lord Paramount C in terms of troops and numbers and men. But we are we are growing in our own power, and we're becoming a force. Will it last? That remains to be seen. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching with me and watching the series so far. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you're thinking. And I will see you guys next week for the next episode of House Baratheon. Goodbye.